Thanksgiving, it's over. Long gone. Bye. Sayonara. We're in full Christmas season now. Tis the motherfucking season for tamales. This isn't the tamale video, this is the pre-tamale video. You gotta do a lot of prep leading up to it. But what do we do with all of our leftover turkey? We have so many leftovers, right? People do soups, they do pot pies. <laughs> People do soups, they do the pot pies, they do the Thanksgiving sandwich. Yeah, so we're gonna take our turkey, our leftover turkey meat that we purposefully have left over, all the pulled wing meat, everything like that, and we're gonna make mole. And I'm here to tell you, it is not that difficult. It's actually really, really darn simple if you break it down into a couple different basic ingredients. You've got your aromatics or vegetables right here. We're going to fire roast these. The dried craisins. You can also use raisins and tomatoes. They're also going to be technically part of our uh, vegetable or aromatics. We've got some of these smoked jalapenos that were a little too wrinkly for our uh, pickled jalapenos. We've got our nuts here, our nut section, sesame seeds and pecans. We've got our dried chilies. These are some New Mexico and Cascabel chilies. We've got our spice mixes here, all kind of our all ground ones. We've got marjoram, ancho powder, mustard powder, paprika, and comino. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mole, it's very, I mean, you can follow an exact recipe. You know, the one that I'm gonna post on the uh, blog is gonna be, you know, you can follow that exact recipe or you can just use whatever you've got and that's exactly what we're doing. We've also got a cinnamon stick, a couple pods of star anus, and some fennel seed in here. Lastly, chocolate. That's gonna go in last. And we've also got a Martin's potato bread bun. Here's the thing with a lot of Mexican preparations. They do, they have weird rules that like don't abide by any normal cooking rules. We're gonna burn this to hell. Uh, completely black and burnt and almost charcoal and we're gonna puree it into here it's gonna add a really nice round bitterness note to it it's going to uh, give a really nice color to our mole then we're gonna take all of our picked turkey meat mix it with the mole and then in a week or two we're gonna make some tamales so let's go very similar to chili it's more complex so chili to me is basically just the ground meat and then the spiced pureed chili sauce mole has a lot more nuance than that. It has more texture than that. And it has a roundness of flavor. So you've got like, if you kind of think about those categories, the vegetables, the spices, the dried chilies, the nuts, uh, and then the kind of finishers, all those things are gonna add to a really like sweet and complex and bitter and savory and spicy and all these kind of flavors happening all at one time. It's gonna be really good and really interesting. Well, the chocolate is gonna add a, like a sheen to it. Chocolate is also gonna add kind of an emulsification uh, kind of thing to it as well. We got our fire dying over here. We just uh, threw some barb on the pit earlier. Throw these babies right on there. Those are just gonna fire roast. We just want to cook a little bit of the, a little bit of the water, a little bit of the raw veg taste out of it. It's not an exact temperature and exact time. Just, just cook it till they got some color. It's been about five or 10 minutes. We don't really need to fully cook all these. We're gonna cook them all in a pan. Uh, we just want some of that color on there, some of that flavor from the fire roast on there. We're gonna take these back inside and get rolling with the mole. Into the pot! So this is some rendered turkey fat from the turkey breakdown video, all the skin and crispies. This is the strained turkey fat. We're also gonna go in with our smoked jalapenos, dried craisins, and our tomatoes. Just wanna start to cook down some of the veg, get these carrots a little soft, and get these onions a little more translucent. Then we're gonna run in with our seeds, nuts, and chilies. Everything looks nice and married together. We've got our pecans, pecans. It's pecans, by the way, it's never pecans. Got our pecans and our sesame seeds going in. We've got our dried chilies going in. We're just gonna cook this for a little bit longer. Chilies are gonna soften up. These nuts are gonna get toasty. It's starting to look like mole. Oh God, it's already smelling really good. What are the traditional meats? Uh, I mean, typically it's with a white meat, right? Uh, you've got your turkey mole, you've got your chicken mole. The moles come in different colors. There's like the red and the green, the yellow, and just all different kinds. And like the most known, right, is the mole poblano, the mole negro. And that's kind of what we're doing here. But you know, this is, this is our version. We're calling it mole inauthentico. Uh, so it's, it's completely uh, non-traditional. Uh, it's just kind of the, you know, all these different categories of vegetables and nuts and all this stuff. And we're just using 
literally what we have on hand. So it's our version of mole. The point is for it to be a really delicious, complex chili sauce that you put over the turkey, which we have left over. We're just gonna burn this bread till it's really dark and toasty and pretty black. It's burning green. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This is how you toast buns on the truck too, right? Yeah, just like this. A lot of times you'll see this done with uh, tortillas, like a whole flour, a whole corn tortilla. Just kind of burned up and thrown in there. Oh my God, it already smells so good, <laughs> I'm telling you. Ooh. Nutty, vegetal, the chilies are coming out. The spices are getting ready to go in. Cumin, paprika, fennel seed. Cinnamon stick. The smell's coming out of this thing. I know I've just said that, but it's so good. We're gonna let this toast up a little bit more and then we're gonna go with some water. How's it smell? It smells so fucking good. <laughs> a lot of mole recipes you're gonna see call for stock. Now we used all of our stock for stuffing and gravy. So we're just gonna use water, but with all of the things that are going on in here, uh, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Uh, plus we're gonna put it on the turkey, which already has as much turkey flavor as you can possibly get, so we don't really need the turkey stock. Just gonna use water, and it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Vegetables, roasted, nuts, toasted, spices, hydrated. Oh, Lego. In with the agua. We're just gonna bring this to a simmer, cook it for a little bit, probably about 15, 20. And then give it the puree, finish it with the chocolate, season it, that's it. We've been rolling here for about 15, 20. Everything's nice and cooked and flavors are melded and mushed. We're just gonna puree here, start on one. <laughs> so we've done the big batch puree here. We're gonna uh, puree it even finer in the Vitamix to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to add our chocolate. We're gonna taste and season it. And then we're gonna add it into our turkey. Oh God, why? Coming over here. Oh yeah. What's the worst blender action that you've ever seen in the kitchen? <laughs> are, you, are you referencing the time when I Shot a blender full of Sichuan peppercorns directly into my face. <laughs> I think that's what you're talking. You just wanted me to tell that story. <laughs> okay, we're almost ready. Almost down to the end of our batch puree stage here. I'm gonna add the chocolate in a couple batches. I'm gonna add half in and then the other half on the last puree. around make sure we get all the particulates at the bottom here. Oh, I'm so strong. Oh, yeah. We have not added any salt to this yet, so we're going to do that now. First of all, look at the look at the viscosity on this mole. To me, that's perfect. Nappe means it coats the back of a spoon. That is delicious. Does need more salt, but it is. The depth of flavor, the layers of flavor, brother, I'll tell you what. It's got the bitterness from the burnt bread. It's got a little heat from the chilies, sweet from the chocolate. I'm gonna go wash this and stir it up. We have all of our picked turkey meat here. Oh God. And our finished mole. Oh, wow, look at that. All over the goddamn floor. All right, that's the turkey mole. We are not gonna do a plate up of this right now because we're gonna use this to make tamales later in the month. This is gonna get bagged and frozen. And then we're also gonna make our red chili barbacoa, 
We may do a vegetable, we may do a green chili pork, uh, but we know for sure we're gonna do these turkey mole and some red chili barbacoa tamales. Coming up.